I've just arrived at the Singapore Changi Airport and I am about to spend the next 24 hours living inside of this airport, exploring everything there is to do here. It is about 2 p.m. in the afternoon right now and my flight leaves tomorrow at 6 p.m. So I have about 28 hours to do and see everything inside of this airport. All right, first item of business. I've read online that you can check your bags in up to 48 hours before your flight with Singapore Airlines, but I've never heard of anyone actually doing it before. So I'm gonna go check out right now, see if I can check in this bag with my flight being about 28 hours away. It's all good, I'm all checked in? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. It worked. I got my boarding pass. I now have a full day to explore the Singapore airport. So first, I'm gonna go to the places that you don't have to go past security to get to. My first stop is going to be the most famous of all the stops in the Changi airport. Here it is, the famous Singapore Jewel, the tallest indoor waterfall in the entire world. And the cool thing is it's before security, so anyone can come and hang out here. Not only is there the waterfall, this is located in an entire shopping mall. There's restaurants, stores, activities. This place is really cool. When you get close enough, you can actually feel the mist coming off of it. And it's very refreshing on a hot day like today. This is a full shopping mall inside of an airport. It's crazy. I couldn't find anybody selling water bottles out there, but then I saw this airport lounge and Priority Pass members get in free. And they have free water, snacks. So I'm hanging out here for the next little bit. Chocolate croissant. Hmm. He saw me drinking a lot of water, so he just brought me the whole pitcher. All right, back to it. I have a fucking time. Thank you. Okay, this is a mirror maze. Whoa. <laughs> He said I have to bring a guiding stick with me. It's actually impossible to tell what's a mirror and what isn't. Oh, this is so weird. Oh my gosh, this is trippy. Oh, that's not, that's a mirror. This is crazy. I truthfully cannot tell what is a mirror and what isn't. I feel like I'm going in circles. I think I'm super lost. I've passed the same people like three times. I'm just going in a circle. I only smacked like five people. So. <laughs> <laughs> then I think they come and complain. Yeah, that was cool. Next attraction is called the Bouncing Sky Nets. I'm not sure what to expect, but some guy told me they were fun. Here we go, here's the entrance. It's like an adult trampoline! <laughs> Before I came in, the worker said, no somersaults inside. And now I'm really tempted to do a somersault. I'm on top of the canopy park, and the highest point you can see the jewel from. Oh, I'm so tired. This is a leg workout. Oh. It wasn't cheap for those couple of minutes of thrill. It was like $30 to bounce around for a couple minutes. But it was worth it. That was so much fun. I have a hard time walking past arcades and not going in and playing. So, let's do this.
Come on. That arcade was too expensive for my blood. Two dollars a game. So, cut it short. In two days from now, I am embarking on the biggest adventure I've ever been on in my life. I'm hiking to Mount Everest Base Camp, and I will be going to altitude higher than I've ever been before, 18,000 feet. So it's recommended before making a journey like that to get a drip IV and make sure your body is properly hydrated. So this airport conveniently has an urgent care on site so I just came in, I'm all hooked up. For the next 15 minutes, fluids are gonna get pumped into my body. That took much longer than I was expecting. I waited almost three hours to get that IV, but I'm sure it will be worth it in the end. It's almost 8 p.m. now, and I need to find somewhere to sleep tonight. There are a couple of airport hotels here, so hopefully some of them have availability. First, this ramen place inside the airport has incredible reviews. So I had to stop in, get a quick meal. This looks delicious. Mm. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. This is the world's largest indoor slide. 12 meters. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. oh, it's a little slower than I would have thought. Oh, there we go. Oh. Woo. Okay. Okay, now I really need to find a hotel for tonight. I keep finding more and more stuff to do. We made it. This hotel is right next to the Jewel, so it's kind of cool. It's also tiny. There's just a bed, a TV, and a bathroom all packed in here, but it's perfect. I'm exhausted and cannot wait to go to sleep. Here's the bed. It looks like it reclines up, which is kind of cool. They said this is a workstation over here. So this table comes out, turns into a desk. And then here's the bathroom. Very simple. Online it said this hotel had a gym, but of course it's closed because of the Rona. So we're improvising a little bit. Never skip leg day. I have about six hours until my flight, so let's go through security now and see everything there is to do after security. Singapore just opened up for tourism without quarantine on arrival about two weeks ago. So everything in this airport is super packed right now, but it's kind of cool to see it again. It feels normal to have tourists everywhere and to see everything busy. Chupa chups. All right, here we go. Through security. There's a Louis Vuitton store inside the airport. Only in Singapore. Well, I heard the butterfly garden was really cool, but it's closed. 
Oh man, I'm 0 for my last two. The thing that I was most excited for, for coming to this airport, was seeing the free movies. There's a free movie theater here, and they play movies all day long. But it's closed. Ugh. I was told it closed for COVID and hasn't been open in about two years, so. Hopefully some point in the future, it'll be back open. Come to the Singapore Airlines Business Class Lounge for the next couple of hours to get some food and hang out and relax for the next little bit. I've heard this lounge has the best food of any lounges here, so let's go check it out. Oh wow, looks like you can choose any of these and they'll make fresh for you. Fresh made dumplings right here. Yeah, I'll take like three or four, it would be great. Thank you so much. And the full dim sum. This is just like a pick your own sandwich station. Amazing. I'm flying Singapore Airlines today and it only costs about 10,000 miles to upgrade to business class, which gets me into this lounge for free. All of this looks so amazing. Can't wait to dig in. This dim sum is so good. I spent the last couple of hours getting everything ready for my Everest trek tomorrow, filling out the Nepal entry visa, and now it is time to board my flight, which means I officially survived 24 hours in the Singapore airport. This was such a fun challenge. I had such an amazing time, and hopefully we'll do it again one day. Kind of crazy that my next video, I'm gonna be starting the trek to Mount Everest Base Camp. This is gonna be a wild adventure. Can't wait. Here we go. This starts the craziest adventure of my life. 